Hi. Okay, so I've done this a thousand times with my camera, and I hate it. So it's going to go straight from my uh, webcam. And then from my webcam, I'm going to upload it and put it on my YouTube. And I think this is just the way it's going to happen. I may not edit things all the time. Sorry, I just, I thought I almost forgot another thing. Um, I am not going to edit things all the time. I'm sorry, it's not just not going to happen. So if I blur or say something inappropriate or something, I'm sorry. That's just the way it is. It's it's the way it's going to be. I'm not going to do my hair all the time. I tried a thousand different styles and I hated it. I, I looked ridiculous. And I'm just going to be the way it is. And that's it. I'm going to give you the message that I need to give you. Because this is what I feel my destiny was to give somebody this information. I don't know who exactly needs this information, but I'm sure I'm not the only one that can benefit from it. I'm not. Sh I'm sure that people around me are not the only ones that can benefit from it. And I hope that I can change somebody's life or change somebody's idea of something specifically um, in whatever it is that I say. Uh, because I feel like that's my sole purpose into doing this. I feel as if there was a reason for me to do this and this is my reason this this is what i have to give you no um i'm not trying to uh change your mind i'm not trying to make this a video where i'm going to uh i want to express my words clearly and right I feel like I need to give this message out and it could be about anything. There's women out there that, or there's people out there sometimes that feel as if they can't do something. So because they feel like they cannot do it, sometimes they need the reasons and the proof. They need a reason to feel like they can and they will and they do. And you know what? I might be that person. I don't know. I can hope and I can try. Because there's so many people out there that can do more for themselves and the world, but they're just not doing it because that belief system in their head is not there. Um, and I was one of those people once. And sometimes it's hard for me to get myself out of that and just do what it is that I want to do. I want to conquer and I want to do things in this world. Um, so I don't know. So just bear with me. So um if things come in threes i say uh and that makes me feel if if they came in three for a reason i was supposed to i was supposed to give in that message to more people i feel like the people that are around me are not the only ones that can benefit from this i don't feel like i'm the only one that can benefit from this i feel like everybody can benefit from this but you have to believe that you can benefit from it um you know we can't live in this life thinking things are just going to come to us because they're not it's just not going to happen i'm not successful in my job um or in a career that i wanted I thought that things were just going to come to me and things have not came to me just yet. What has came to me was my happiness and my ability to love my family and my family to love me back. Um, that that has come to me, but, but I think that also had a lot to do with my mindset and my, the way I think about life. Those things would have never came to me if I would have continued to process my thoughts the way I did growing up. But I think that's just a process of growing up that you just have to learn that you have to reach and expand yourself and be more than you were led to believe that you can do and who you were to be. You know what I mean? Like um, Bill Gates, I think he's the one who invented the Internet. You think that if he would have listened to everybody who said that he couldn't do it, was he able to not to do it? Yeah, you know, Albert Einstein. I mean, there's so many cases, right? There's so many different people that were told they couldn't do it or you're not good enough or it's a waste of time or it's this or that. I've heard this all my life growing up from a little person to a bigger person. I never thought that I could uh, come to anything good. But you know what? That's a lie. I am striving for wonderful things for myself and I'm going to continue to strive for wonderful things for myself even when I accomplish my one goal my one goal which is to graduate from college which a bachelor's then a master's um that is my goal that's what I want to do and I'm going to do it but just because I want to do that um doesn't mean 
that you have to do that. Everybody follows their own success. But uh, living in the state, this wonderful state of New Jersey, um, I live in South Jersey. I just moved here about two years ago, and I realized in the state that you know you can make decent money not going to school, but if you really want to make good money, good money to live here, to pay these expensive taxes that we have, you need to go to school. You need to go to school so that way if you want to have a thousand kids, you can support those thousand kids. Um, if you want to do something, you can. And you will. You will. And it's something that can happen. Anyways, a story that led me to this channel um, is a story that I did or that happened. Uh, I work at a pharmacist. The pharmacist has a drive through um, Someone came to the drive through dropped off a prescription for her son. She was embarrassed because she didn't have any insurance. I'm going kind of quickly because I realized they just spent five minutes talking about something else. But anyway, so she came in, she came to the drive through and she was scared, or not scared, but she was embarrassed that she didn't have insurance. And because she didn't have insurance, she, she just had this look on her face and the way she said that she didn't have insurance, you can just tell that she was ashamed that she didn't have it. Um, she had three kids in her car, she had a baby in her little womb, and she was a beautiful woman, you know, like, and not just because she's beautiful, but because, like, she was just embarrassed. She wanted more for her kids. You can see it. She wanted to have this insurance, but it was out of her hands. She didn't have the insurance. And I just told her not to be ashamed because I was in the same situation not that long ago when my husband was transitioning from being in the military to a different job. Um, and it took a couple jobs until he got into his career that he's always wanted to do. And, you know, congratulations to my husband because that was not easy and that was a lot of work. And man he did it because i knew he could um and i told him he could and he believed it and he did he did everything he wanted to do so that's another example but um she looked at me she was like you know sometimes i wish i can help my husband with like bills and stuff but with these kids like i just feel like i can't and i look back and i'm just like wow you know and, and i just looked at her and i'm just like I, you're not the only one that feels like this like i literally felt like this not that long ago um i felt bad because i couldn't help my husband in the bills with the bills or I couldn't help him do more than I wanted to because everything that I worked for when I had a full-time job and I had a job that paid me well everything I worked for went straight to daycare straight to daycare okay and that almost felt like that was not even fair because why am I paying for a daycare I might as well just stay home with my son and go to school if I'm going to give all that money to daycare I'm just gonna give it off to daycare so yeah in a way like I could totally understand where she's coming from but I told her I was like look I, um I don't know but if if this is how you feel you can do something about it and she was like well I always thought that maybe I could go to school but I don't think school's for me it's gonna take a long time yeah you're right it's gonna take a long time it's gonna take a long time but you know what 2015 2014 2000, wait, 2015, 2014, we're backwards, okay, 2015, 2016, 2017, all those years are going to come and go, they're going to come and they're going to go, so within those three years, two years, four years, six years, however long you decide to go to school, those years will happen no matter what, it's what you do in that time frame is going to change what you do now or how much money you make now to how much money you put in later. It doesn't matter how long it takes you. Those years are going to happen anyways. Those years will come and go. Within those years, are you gonna continue to look every single May that you feel you could have finished another year, another semester, another class? Are you gonna look at those years and say, wow, that could have been another year. Wow, I could have been finished by now another year i could have had a job right now i could have gotten a, a really good paying job right now all these years will happen no matter what it's what you do at that time that matters and you know what when i had my son i wanted him i have this vision and this life that i painted for him and i know i'm not the only one every mom does this you look at your son or you look at your daughter and you're like this is what i want for you but you know what if you want that for your kids and you want that to happen for your kids, why can't that happen for you? You can't look at your child and say, I want you to work really hard. I want you to do this because, you know, I want all these things. 
you have to want these things for you so your child can see what it is that you have accomplished so that way he can say wow my mom and my dad worked so hard and nothing stopped them nothing can stop me nothing because it's in my blood so she left and she said thank you so much she came back um maybe like another uh, last week now i wanted to do this video like around the time that she came like that that week i was like set i'm gonna do a video i'm gonna i'm gonna tell people i'm gonna let them know and i did it <laughs> i did and i didn't do anything and she came back and she gave me her insurance card and i was like wow i was like how are you how are things she was like i was so scared that you weren't going to recognize me and i was like i think i've seen you like a couple times before right but i wasn't sure if it was you so i didn't want to bug you she said no it was me but i just you know you see so many people come and go i didn't think that you would remember me and i'm like well no you gave me your insurance card you reminded me next time just remind me it's you just let me know how things are going how are things going Did, what, what's going on She's like, I looked into school. My husband and I decided to go back to school. I think I'm going to do dental assistant. I was like, that's great. Dental assistant is a great job. And she said, yeah, we're going to do that. Um, what school are you going to? I'm, I'm just curious because we both went into different schools. And, you know, um, I signed up to this school. He signed up to that school. And we're both interested in two different things. And my mom's going to help me now. She also said I can get a job at a daycare where they can possibly help me with my bills at daycare. Yes, this is so awesome. This made me feel so good. Because why? Just because I talk to you doesn't mean that you're going to do your best job or you're going to do what it is that I say. But what I said really sunk into her and really made her think and it made her take action into her life. Why? Because she really wanted a change in her life. She was not satisfied with the way her life was going and she did something about it. And I felt so good because I feel like this is the reason why these things happen to me and uh, these are the reasons why why I feel this way I don't know was, I, I, I feel like everything happens for a reason and she was going through something I helped her no gain in me except for the fact that she's happy and she's going to do something about her life that makes me happy truly happy that makes my heart smile and it makes me feel like wow like that's that's just amazing to me how many more people can I do this for? <laughs> um, so this is the reason why this channel even existed. Uh, and I'm being a little bit more comfortable. I feel as if, if I see myself doing this video, then I will feel better. I attempted with the camera. I couldn't see myself. I saw myself again. I was like, Ugh, this is disgusting. Like, I can't, I can't do this. But, you know, the truth is, is that it's not disgusting. I just have to watch myself doing it. And I just have to figure a way to make this better. And it doesn't matter how my videos are designed, edited, how I look in them. The whole point is to get this message out there. This isn't the only message I have. I have many, many, many more messages out there. Um, I am not a, a person that, you know, I'm not, this isn't my job. I'm not somebody who is like looking at a book and saying, this is how you should live your life. No, I'm just telling you what has happened to me and the information that's going through me and the information has to go through me in order to get to you so somebody out there that's watching this video something's going to happen and it's going to change your life and if something changes your life for the good spread your word because for whatever reason that was supposed to be something that was supposed to be given to you so you can share it and give it to somebody and that's the whole point and that's my whole purpose so if you've seen other videos and it hasn't been like this, more videos like this is going to happen. And if Alexander wants to join, he's more than welcome to. Um, you can see him in more videos. But definitely, please, please, please like my videos. Oh, and if you know me, I'm so... This is very scary, but please share my video uh, if you feel like this is, can benefit anybody. Why? Because this information was supposed to be given to you for some reason for some reason something was supposed to be given some some reason this was supposed to happen okay then see you later bye, -bye.